Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example on circle theorems. A, B, C, D and E lie on the circle with center O. So we can see that the five points are lying on the circumference of the circle. C, A and B, D intersect at Y. So C, A and B, D intersect at the point Y. Angle D, C, A is given as 88 degrees. Angle C, Y, D is given as 68 degrees. And angle B, A, C is U degrees, which is over here. And angle A, E, D is V and reflex angle A, O, D is W. Calculate the values of U, V and W. So we have to find out the values of the missing angles. So let us start by finding the value of u and to begin with we will start with the triangle c y d now since this is a triangle we can make use of the angle sum property of a triangle to find out the angle d so we can write over here angle c plus angle y plus angle d all add up to 180 degrees now we have the value of angle c given as 88 degrees and we have the angle Y as 68 degrees. So let us find out the value of angle D. So this is equal to 180. So we have angle D is equal to 180 degrees minus 88 minus 68. So this gives us a value of 24 degrees. So let us write over here 24. Now here to find out the value of u, we have to make use of a circle theorem which is given as angles in the same segment. So it states that angles in the same segment are equal. Now you can see that I have drawn a circle and there are two points on it which is A and B. These two points divide the entire circle into two segments. One is a larger one which is called as a major segment. And one is a smaller segment, so we call it as a minor segment. Now if we use these two points to draw certain angles in the major segment, for example this is one angle, so likewise we can draw n number of angles in the major segment, so this way. So for example if I have over here 20 degrees, so all the angles in the major segment will end up as 20 degrees. So this is called as the angles in the same segment are equal. Now let us make use of this theorem to solve the given example above. So let us consider the two points C and B. Now these two points divide the entire circle into two segments where one is the minor segment, the small one, and the other one is a large segment, so it is a major segment. Now these two points make an angle in the major segment at point D and at point A. So we have the two angles that is angle D and angle A in the major segment. So it states that the angles in the same segment are equal. So if angle D is 24 degrees then we get the angle A or angle U as 24 degrees as well. So we can write here the value of angle U is 24 degrees using the angles in the same segment theorem. Now let us try to find out the angle V. Now to find out the angle V let us consider the quadrilateral or the cyclic quadrilateral A, C, D and E. Now for the cyclic quadrilaterals we have a circle theorem which is given as cyclic quadrilateral theorem it states that opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral add to 180 degrees now you can see that i have drawn a circle and there is a quadrilateral within it and we call it as a cyclic quadrilateral because all the vertices of the quadrilateral are on the circumference of the circle now according to the given theorem the opposite angles will add to 180 degrees so for example we have angle A added with angle C because these two are opposite to each other. So when we add them we get 180 degrees. So we can write over here 
angle A plus angle C is 180 degrees or we can also take the angle B and angle D which are opposite to each other and we can write here angle B plus angle D equal to 180 degrees. So let us see how we can use this circle theorem to solve the given example above. Now in this case the angle C is opposite to the angle E in the cyclic quadrilateral ACTE. So we can write angle C plus angle E is equal to 180 degrees and we have the value of angle C as 88 and angle E is given as V equal to 180 degrees. So we have V is equal to 180 degrees minus 88 and that gives us a value of 92 degrees. So let us write over here V is 92. Now let us find out the last value which is angle W. Now to find out the value of W we are going to make use of another circle theorem which is given as angle at the center theorem. It states that angle at the center is two times the angle at the circumference of the circle. Now you can see that I have drawn a circle and marked two points A and B on it. Now these two points are going to make an angle at the circumference of the circle and if we consider there is a point O at the center of the circle then the two points make an angle at the center of the circle as well. So here according to the given theorem angle at the center which is angle AOB is equal to 2 times the angle at the circumference of the circle which is angle if I take this as point C it becomes 2 times angle ACB. So here if we have an angle of 80 degrees so angle at the center becomes 2 times 80 which is 160 degrees. So let us see how we can make use of this theorem to solve the given example above. Now in this given diagram let us consider the points D and A. Now these two points make an angle at the circumference of the circle at point E and the same two points make an angle at point O which is the center of the circle. So using the theorem we can write angle at the center which is angle AOD is equal to 2 times the angle at the circumference which is angle AED. Now here we have the angle at the center that is the reflex angle as W is equal to 2 times the angle at E is V. And we had got the value of V as 92 degrees. So we are going to substitute over here 2 times 92. That gives us an answer of 184 degrees. So we have the angle W which is a reflex angle as 184 degrees. So let us write over here 184. So this is how we find out the values of U, V and W by using the circle theorems. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. So if you have any other way of solving the given example, feel free to comment below. I'd be really happy to see different ways of solving the given example. So if you're liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching.